Hey guys and welcome to the TTK tutorial series here on the Codrus Legacy channel. In this video we'll take a look at TTK, what it is and a basic overview on it and how to use it. And later on in the series we'll be you know doing more specialized tutorials okay on how to use individual widgets and stuff within you know TTK. So what is TTK and what does it bring to the table? Well TTK stands for Themed Take Hinter. Okay, it's basically a special extension or submodule, as it's called, of TakeHinter. TakeHinter, which is the popular Python GUI library used to create, you know, GUIs. So uh, this is something I need to mention first, actually, that this video, this series, kind of has a prerequisite that you know what TakeHinter is. Okay, uh, and if you don't, and you somehow ended up on this video without ever having tried TakeHinter please do check out my TakeInter tutorial series. All links to the TTK series, to the, to, to the TakeInter tutorial series, all can be found in the description below, okay? So without further ado, uh, what does TTK bring to the table and you know, what exactly does it do as, a, as an extension of TakeInter? So TTK has three main advantages, three main things. The first thing that it does is it brings in a new visual look for 12 of the TakeInter widgets. Okay, there's no syntax difference. Okay, uh, it's all the same code. And the only thing that it does is really change the look and make it look more modern. Okay, secondly, what TTK does is uh, brings in six new widgets, six new widgets out of which some are actually pretty handy, like the notebook and the tree view and the progress bar too. Those are pretty uh, good. The other ones are a bit minor. The combo box is pretty handy. Other than that, the size, the grip and separator are, you know, smaller, not very important widgets, but we'll discuss them anyway in the upcoming videos. Okay, so the third thing that it does is brings in new styling support, styling and theme support. That's actually pretty handy and we'll uh, do a brief over overview on that in this video and we'll have more specialized tutorials for that later on as well. Okay, so without further ado, let's... All right, so I'm gonna create a few basic take inter widgets here. All right, so button is equal to tk dot button all right and text is equal to click me just some fairly standard stuff okay pack it in okay let's create a check button too i won't create a label because that doesn't really show any difference it's just basic text you can't really change much about that and here we go let's call it check button all right and pack that in too. Okay, so let's be a little more efficient with this. All right, and let me just copy this too. All right, radio button. Okay, and we'll just do one more after this, which is the take inter scale. Scale is equal to tk.scale self.master as well. And I think it's like from is equal to zero to is equal to 10, then pack it in as well. All right, and good. So let's just run this to make sure everything went smoothly. Unexpected indent, what happened down there? Not sure. And take inter has no attribute, check button. Okay, that's because of this. I, I, I always make that mistake. All right, here we go. So here's our basic take inter widgets, a button, a check button, a radio button, all right. And here's a take inter scale, okay. And I'll just actually uh, give it some size first. Geometry, 200, 150, or a little larger than that. I think we'll need some extra width for the scale. I mean, extra height, okay. Good, so this is our take inter window and this is what our take inter widgets look like right now. So what I want to do now is show you a few ways of importing TDK and the effect it has on the widgets, okay? So right now I have it declared as tk.button and tk.checkbutton, tk.radio button, tk.scale, okay? So what happens if I change this to this? I change them to the TTK variants, okay? Now what happens is when I run this code, the TTK variants will appear. Okay, there you go. There's the button. It has a nice hover effect on it now. It turns blue and it looks more modern too. The check button that are in the radio button look a little more sleeker, okay? 
and they have this nice effect that, like the radio button kind of flickers when I click it the check button looks you know a lot cooler and the scale looks a lot more modern too and slim okay and don't don't worry about the orientation by the way you can change that anyways so yeah this is basically what TTK widgets look like this is basically the kind of improvement that they bring all right now I want to show you something rather interesting some of you may not want to do this you know like constantly switch between TK and TTK Personally, this is the approach I favor because I like to, you know, I can switch between the TK and the TTK variants. If I want to, you know, use TTK, I'll just add an extra T in there. So yeah, but there's one thing that some people do, and I may as well tell you guys this, is that, let me just comment this out. Okay, so what people do is import, sorry, from tickinter import all, okay? And then they do from tickinter.ttk import all, okay? Actually, let me comment this out too. Let me show you. Uh, I just need to make a few changes. Just remove all of this. Okay. Now, people, some people, you know, create their take and widgets like this. Okay. Because they don't like to put the, you know, TK dot thing. Okay. So, the code runs the same, of course. But uh, the slight advantage, I guess, by doing this approach, if you just import it like this, all of the widgets are automatically, sorry about that, typo. So all of the widgets will automatically be overridden, okay? So every time you create a widget, you don't need to specify whether it's a TTK widget or a TK dot, you know, widget. So this is another way people like to import it. So you can go ahead and import it like this if you want. <clears throat> all right, so let me just undo all that and, okay. Now I know this is a bit you know drawn out and may seem a little boring, but this is just the, the kind of nitty gritty stuff that you know you should know. And I won't really be talking about this stuff in the later videos when we discuss the widgets, because I'll be assuming that you guys already have some knowledge about you know all this, how to import it, and uh, all this kind of stuff. So let's just switch this back to the TTK versions, okay? And let's move on to talking about themes and styles, okay? So this is how you create a style, okay? Or more specifically, we created a style object. And now we can use this to make uh, changes throughout our entire window. Just watch. Uh, what I want to do first is basically talk about themes. Okay, so themes are basically predefined looks for your take your window. They have a bunch of pre-applied settings. Okay, a bunch of predefined settings like the background, the foreground for each widget, the number, the amount of padding, the amount of uh, like the colors. Like if you hover over it, what color to be, what if you press it, what color to change into. It has all these kind of features, which is actually pretty handy. And again, we'll do that in detail, okay, in the theme video and the style video. But let me just give you an overview right now, okay? So first, let's take a look at, uh, you know, printing out style names. This is how you do it, okay? Let me just run that. And this is basically the names of all the themes currently available. And this will change, this will vary from OS to OS. So uh, someone on Linux or Mac might see something different. He won't see stuff like Win native, I think, and XP native, okay? The default one that's currently playing is Vista, okay, by the way. So let me just go ahead and change the theme, okay? Uh, if I remember correctly, it was style.team use and we just write classic, for example. All right, there you go. So we just changed the way it looks, okay? And this doesn't look very, I mean, it looks interesting. Not my style, but interesting. So let's change it to something like clam or alt. Okay. And it looks like this. Uh, I, I, like this I, I like this look a bit more. Okay, let's try alt, okay. And what does this look like? Uh, it's interesting, a bit of a classic kind of look to it, uh, similar to the original TDK, sorry, original take enter. Okay, so yeah, this is basically themes and how to use them. What you can do later on is modify them, make your own themes, okay? But again, we'll discuss that separately. Uh, for now, let's take a look at styles, okay? Now, uh, something interesting is that in TTK, there's an additional parameter called style. Okay, that you can pass into your widgets. By default, this has a default style. The button has T button, and similarly, the uh, check button has you know T check button or something, something like that. Okay, 
they also they basically have these styles built in by default okay and let's just remove this because we don't need these okay let's just focus on the button and we'll make a few style changes to it okay so basically each each widget has its own default class so you can kind of imagine this as themed button themed button okay like team take enter team button so this has the default style and this default style has a bunch of pre-applied settings okay uh, again more on that and how to view that default style later but let me just show you how to make a few changes and how to create a basic style okay this is pretty simple stuff so style.configure okay and you do this t button okay and you just make a few changes like for example you want to change uh you do this in a dictionary format if i remember correctly um actually no it was just you know regular options okay so for example foreground is equal to blue now let's see what happens okay so the color changed to blue the color of the text okay so that's basically how you can modify styles modify an existing style okay and the benefit is that you don't need to actually pass this in right because it's already uh, the default style but sometimes you will want to create separate styles so what we do is just you know make a new name this can be anything okay this can be called new you know, new t button or whatever okay but the general format that we generally follow is a name a, cu a custom name dot and then you know the name of the original style okay so in this case you definitely will need to pass this in okay so what do i pass in style is equal to custom dot t button okay this is useful if you want to create separate groups of widgets okay like you don't you don't want all of your widgets to change you, you want them to re retain the default look but you only want some widgets to have a custom look okay so this is useful for that okay so there we go and uh, you can just you know change a few other things over here like let's change the background to what should we change it to? Uh, should we change it to red? Okay, and let's make some other changes. Let's change the padding. Okay, uh, padding can be um, either this, something like five, and this will apply padding to each side, the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. Or it can be a list of values, so you can basically decide where you want the padding. Okay, this, this the style that I've currently done should apply padding to the sides. Okay, you can't notice this that well, so let me just apply it to the top and the bottom as well, because currently it just looks like the button got longer. And there you go. This it's a lot more noticeable now. And the background didn't actually change, and that's a bit of a complicated reason. We'll take a look at that later in the styling video, because it's a bit more complicated. Okay, you need to change the background for several states. Okay, when it's active and it's not active. Uh, etc okay so this is just a very basic overview still because configuring styles making your own styles changing stuff mapping and layouts and that's all part of tdk okay and we're just brushing the surface right now so with this we're pretty much done i think i've covered you know how to import tdk the various styles i showed you themes i showed you how the widgets look different and i showed you uh, some basic styling as well so with this we're pretty much done and for this video okay for for a little intro and from the next video onwards we'll begin taking a look at the widgets the new widgets and after we're done with the new widgets we'll take a look at the themes and the styles okay so stay tuned watch the whole series okay uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos okay leave some comment leave some feedback if there's something you're interested in seeing okay otherwise i'll leave a link for the tick inter series as well okay because if you're interested in the other widgets that you know we won't be covering in ttk obviously because they're already there in take inter so you can check those out over there okay so i think that's about it and see you in the next video